Hey guys, and welcome to this video. I'm really excited to be showing you through the new Super Builder 2.0, our drag and drop website builder for Notion. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The first step is to duplicate the Notion template to your own Notion workspace. So there's a link to this page in the description below. And once you get here, let's go ahead to the top right and click duplicate. And from here, you'll be prompted to choose your Notion workspace. And after a few minutes, it will appear in your own Notion workspace. So this is the Super Builder dashboard and it's got everything you need to build really awesome websites with Notion. Now I'm going to be skipping over this first section learn because I'm going to be going through everything step by step in this video and the page that we're most interested in is the page builder here. So let's go ahead and open this up. And here we are in the page builder itself. So the page builder consists of a component library on the left, which is this sidebar section, which contains all of our different components. And then on the right, we have the page builder area. And by default, when you duplicate this template for the first time, you'll see this example page here, which shows off what's possible with the builder tool. But I'm gonna be building a site from scratch today. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this call out. So to begin, I'm going to create a new page area by clicking this button below. And you can see now we have a new empty callout canvas to be building our page in. Now, whilst the Super Builder tool is really, really easy to use, there are a few important things to notice. And we've made a note of these at the top in this call out here, but I'm gonna be explaining them as we go through step by step. So the first one is that when we open a toggle block to view the component library, uh, it's very important that we don't just drag and drop a component from the sidebar into the page like so, because that will essentially delete the component from the database. So we need to drag and duplicate at the same time. So to do this, you can press option on Mac or alt on Windows. So if you press and hold that key whilst you're dragging, so I'm gonna hold option because I'm on a Mac and then I'm gonna click and drag this component from the sidebar over into the page area. And if I drop, we'll see after a few seconds, the component appears, but it appears as a page block. So that's the first and most important step. The second step then is we click on the six dots menu and we choose turn into, and we can choose heading one. And as if by magic now, the component has appeared in the page and all we have to do is delete the heading one block. And there we have it. So our hero component is now appearing on our page and we can continue adding more components to build out a really cool website. So I'm gonna close the hero section next. and I'm gonna go into social proof. Let's add a logo list. So again, I'm holding option and I'm clicking and dragging across and I'm gonna add multiple components at the same time before we transform them. So next I'm gonna add some features. So let's scroll down. I'm gonna choose this one. So again, holding option, clicking and dragging, scrolling up, and I'm gonna drop that one here. Next, let's add a team section. So again, holding option, dragging, dropping, and pricing. So let's hold option, click and drag. And then once all the components have appeared, we can click and drag by, by clicking and dragging outside of the page, we can click and drag to select all of the different uh, components, or you can do them individually. So click on the six dots, turn into heading one, Again, we just need to delete this heading section here. So turn into heading one, delete the heading section here. Or as I said, you can select multiple components and then turn into heading one so that they both get transformed at the same time. Great. So it really is that simple to build out a cool web page within minutes in this tool, you can see we've got a cool hero section. We've got this uh, logo section where we're showing off different companies, highlighting different features, showcasing the team, etc., etc. We've got a bunch of different components here. And if you want a quick view of all the components, you can view the components database where you can see we have a bunch of different components all organized by category for you to have a look around, customize and build upon. So that's it really, once we're happy and you are content with the page layout itself, don't forget we can always change and update this, we can add new components. That's the joy of using Notion as a content management system. But once we're happy, the final step is to click the six dots menu and choose turn into a page. And then we drag this page out of the builder into anywhere else into the workspace. I'm gonna choose my private pages for now. And if I go ahead and open that up, you can see our page is uh, here and it looks just like it did in the builder. We can go ahead and remove this text block. 
And now we can begin taking this to the next level by integrating it with Super and applying some customization and design options. So to do that, let's begin by heading up to the top right hand side corner and clicking the share button. From here, click publish, publish again and copy the Notion URL. And if you haven't already, head to super.so, there's a link in the description below and create an account for free. And once you've done that, head into the dashboard and let's click the create site button. We'll give our website a title, paste the URL that we just copied from Notion and click create site. In just a few seconds, Super will take that content from Notion and spin up a completely custom website. Not only that, but it enhances the performance, the SEO capabilities, and adds a ton of features that you don't get just in Notion alone. I'm not going to go into too much detail on how Super works in this video. We're going to focus on the builder. If you want to learn more about Super, there's plenty of resources on our main website and on our YouTube channel. So now that we've got our site in Super, I'm going to go back into the builder and I'm going to look at exploring some of the themes and templates that we've got available for you to use for free. Now we have six different templates available. I'm going to head into one now and show you how they look in the end. So if I click on the live demo, you can see here, this is a completely custom appearance. It has custom fonts, custom colors, a custom layout, and all of this is managed entirely in Notion and customized with Super. It even has a light and dark mode toggle as well. So if you want, you can actually start with these Notion templates by using the pages provided in the templates here. You can use this as your starting point for uh, your website and customize this as you need. Or you can simply also just use the custom theme itself, which we can duplicate to Super. So how these templates and themes work is, in a nutshell, either you start with this template or you create your own page in the Super Build tool, which is what we've just done. And then once you've created a site in Super, which we've already done, then you apply the custom theme. So it's a two part process. It's having a Notion page and then it's applying the theme in Super. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and apply the glimpse theme. So let's scroll right to the bottom here and click duplicate. And when we click duplicate, this is going to open up Super automatically and it's going to prompt us to duplicate this theme. So let's click that now. And you can see Super has conveniently opened up the theme preview and it's showing us the site that we just made. So if we're happy with this, we can go back into our sites list, edit our site and in the design page, we can now apply that theme that we just copied. Awesome. So you can see here um, in Super itself, we can edit the theme further. This includes colors, fonts, layouts, and more. However, uh, I'm gonna leave it as it is right now. I'm pretty happy with how this is looking, but we have really only just scratched the surface of what's possible with Super and Notion. So that's it for this video. I'm going to finish up by showing you some of the polished final websites that you can create using the builder and um, combining with a theme in Super. You can see we can add custom navigation menus, custom fonts. Uh, you can completely customize the layout with different images and even add things like a footer. So that's it guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any further questions about how the builder works, uh, please drop a comment below. Also make sure to join our Discord community where you can share your creations and um, get feedback from other peers. But in the meantime, thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.